Terry, who actually had a degree in scene design, came up with this idea to take all of the leftover butter tins, which were these were blue, big. round blue, blue, and build a set out of them. It would have been, <laughs> it would have been great. I mean, I think everybody here knows Sherry was uh, one of the most driven, meticulous, uh, unflappable persons that we've ever worked with. When you work with Sherry, you ran as fast as you could to try to keep up because she was an absolute dynamo. There's a saying that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I truly think Sherry never worked a day in her life. And every time there was a question that I had, I was told, see Sherry, because she knew everything that was happening and everything that needed to be done. And I honestly think she probably originated cloning because not one person could possibly do everything she did and be everywhere that she was. Uh, working with Sherry on occasion could be a little confusing, at least for me. Uh, <laughs> She, she covered so many topics all at the same time that, uh, and she always completed the, the discussions. That was never a problem. It was just that you had to go through a couple different topics as you got to the end. The thing I, I always remember, you know, is we all got along so well together. And not only did you, um, you know, work well in a business capacity, but, you know, you became really good friends. And it was a friendship that lasted 25 years. She did everything she could to make everybody feel welcome and excited about the arts. When I think about Sherry's impact, it certainly ripples throughout our community, throughout probably every arts organization in Central Ohio. And I think for me personally, where she had the biggest impact was um, my long association with Cat Co is largely attributed to her and to Jeff in terms of bringing me in at the ground level as a young student volunteer and I really grew up with the theater and now I'm on the board of trustees of the theater and I really learned a great sense of how important it is to steward the things we love and have a passion for and Sherry was a big part of that. And she showed me that you can be in a really high stress business like nonprofit arts <laughs> and still be a kind person. Um, Sherry helped me develop a mantra that I try to remember all the time, and that is always be kind. You know, someone that you can think about and as you go through your life and, you know, look for them as an example of how to do things or how not to do things, and she was definitely very influential that way. I'm not sure where I would be without Sherry. I've worked with her at two different organizations. Um, I met the person I'm married to, um, working at CACO. Um, we have a 15-year-old son. Um, she had a huge impact. I think the biggest impact Sherry had on me um, is that she made me believe I could do things that I didn't think I could do. She believed anybody could do anything, so, you know, of course, I could do. But, uh, there's a certain standard, and it was very helpful to know that Sherry was the standard because frankly in looking at meeting other people hiring other people interviewing people it's just sometimes you get beaten down a little bit <laughs> you don't quite think there's the right person out there sherry was always the right person she really set the standard for arts management excellence in arts management um, that um, i really hadn't known anything about before sherry it was summer it was hot and I don't know who found this little bird that had gotten stuck in some asphalt that, do you remember that? And it had, its feet were just covered in this hot tar and Sherry just panicked. She picked that little bird up. She called some wildlife association and in the middle of the day, jumped in her car, took that little bird and got its feet cleaned off so that it could fly again. I, she had the biggest heart in the world. You stole my bird story. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Sherry moments are seeing her at all kinds of arts events around Columbus. She would put in long, long days serving whatever organization she was working for, whether it was CatCo or Ballet Met. She worked tirelessly for those organizations. But then to see her out at 
countless arts events with her time and supporting and attending arts performances all over town uh, was very inspiring to me. So my moment was a lot of moments. Sherry just kind of out of the blue said, live theater, it won't kill you, which is like one of the greatest slogans of all time. <laughs> and we all laughed and kind of dismissed it, you know, and then we went, well, wait a minute, you know, and it ended up on a bumper sticker. And, and I, I was in Los Angeles one time and I saw that bumper sticker on a car, but they had cut the Catco off of it. Life Theater Won't Kill You, which kind of validated the slogan, you know. We had a meeting in her home, and we wanted to come up with a way to encourage people to include CatCo in their estate planning, in their will. And we came up with the continuation slogan of that, <laughs> which is, um, we, we wanted to name our plan giving society the Ghost Light Society with the tagline, we're dying for live theater. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think my Sherry moment um, has to be on her wedding day because that was done, uh, it was a few days after Christmas, there was snow on the ground, it was over at the Kelton House. It was very small, I don't even think there were 50 people there and I just, you know, you felt really special being there and everyone wanted to be there and she was so happy and Frank was so happy and it was just a really good day. My second favorite Sherry moment was um, one of the few times that she was on stage and one of those times at CatCo, she played the mom in The Good Times Are Killing Me and she was just wonderful. She was luminous. It's, you know, she was great. I always, always enjoyed being with Sherry. Uh, my wife and I, when we'd see her at, a, at an event or something, we'd start talking. 20 minutes to go by, <laughs> we didn't even know it. It was just wonderful to be with her. We had a Halloween party. This was at Riverside, and I dressed up as a man because I never got over the fun I had being in the club, which was one of Catco's first shows. So I had a, a jacket on that I borrowed from a friend, a male friend of mine, and a tie and loafers and slacks, and I had a fake mustache on. And I remember driving home, I thought, Catco's having a board meeting at the law firm, Bricker Law Firm, used to be the post office downtown. And I thought, I'm going to crash that, that board meeting. And so I found out where they were, and they were all in there. And there were some people who probably didn't know who I was. Um, and so I walked, I just opened the door and walked in and walked over to Sherry and bent her over and gave her a big smooch. <laughs> and she didn't know it was me at first, and she just about collapsed on the floor. It was, it was great fun. Certainly enthusiastic, absolutely enthusiastic, very expert, knowledgeable, wonderful, all those things, and just plain fun. Energetic, vivacious, passionate, eclectic, bright, funny, dedicated, very caring, very energetic, and just fun. Meticulous. Smart. Inclusive. Friendly. Poised. And funny. Sherry was luminous, and Sherry is greatly missed.